Hey guys and welcome to our channel. In today's video I will show you how to use the Yellow Pencil plugin for WordPress. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. So the Yellow Pencil plugin for WordPress is a visual editor that will enable and allow you to select elements on your page and design them with CSS rules. Unlike Elementor or any other page builders, you cannot add elements with it, but you can style the elements that already exist on your page. So let me show you how to use it. Go to your WordPress website and into Plugins, Add New, and look for Yellow Pencil. Then you will need to install and activate it on your WordPress website. And once you activated it, navigate into one of your pages or posts, doesn't really matter. In this example, I will take the sample page. I will click on edit. And here I will click on the brush icon here at the top to open the visual editor. This is the visual editor of yellow pencil. This is the canvas, the content. On the left side, you have the utility bar. And on the right side, you have the elements bar. In the utility bars, you have many tools that will help you understand the page structure and we'll go to some of them later but now let's focus on the element after selecting an element you'll see the elements bar filled with many styling options regarding the chosen element so i can change the background color the text color the text size etc so for example let's change the text size right now and i can see that the paragraph changed along with all the other paragraphs on this page if that's what you intended to do, that's great. Otherwise, click on the back button to revert it. And if you'd like to style only this paragraph and not all the paragraphs, just click on this paragraph tag over here. It's also indicating how many you selected, which is five. But change it to select just this one. And now you can style and change it however you want. And it will only affect the one you are working with and not all the others, as you can see. I'm changing the font size of just this one specifically. When you're ready, click on save and then click on the preview button to see what it looks like on your live website. And here you can see the different sizes of the text. All right, so now let's explore some options here from the utility bar. For example, let's explore the responsive view. And while clicking on it, you can choose on which screen you would like to see what your page looks like. So we change it to an iPhone view or a smartphone view. And this icon over here, the blue mobile, is indicating that you are changing the properties of this paragraph specifically for mobile view. So I made the text very large on mobile view. And when I exit the mobile view into the regular view, I can see the paragraph came back to its original size and it's not affected by the mobile view. And this icon is indicating that there are some changes that we created on a different view. Again, I can go back to the responsive view and I can see the size we set for that view. <laughs> it's very important to know about this feature because it will allow you to design your website differently for every screen size. Another cool feature of this plugin is the CSS editor. And that's extremely useful when you know how to enter your CSS rules yourself. And if you have the free version of the plugin, for example, you won't be able to change the background color to the visual editor, but you can type in the CSS rule yourself and then you will be able to change it. So you can still function and maneuver even if you have only uh, the free version. Uh, when you're done, just click save again. And if you are willing to get the pro version of the plugin, it's only $26 to the official website or the exact same plugin from us for only $4.99. And once you download it, whether from the official website or from us, navigate to Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, and over here, drag the plugin into the Choose File section and click on Install and then on Activate. Once you activated the plugin, all the pro features of the plugin will be available to you and we'll come back to our yellow pencil editor will refresh the page and now we will be able to change the background color not through the css editor but through the visual bar so let me show you how you just expand the background color and you change the background color over here by choosing the color from the color wheel just like so including the text so you'll be able to use all 
the pro features of the plugin. Again, once you're done editing, make sure to save it and test the website to make sure all the changes are live. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this process by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.